Hello, this is Matt from Matt Heaney Apps and welcome to part four in the series covering all of the basics of Swift Free. In this video, we will take a look at optionals. So let's jump straight into Xcode. Okay, so into Xcode and we want to get started with a playground. We will call this playground optionals, hit next and save it up and we will delete this string so we have a nice blank playground. Okay, so optionals. What are optionals and why would we ever use optionals? Well, with optionals, what we can do, we can set up, say, a variable or a constant. And not only can we say that this will hold an integer or a double or a string or a whatever, but we can also say that the variable or the constant might actually hold nothing. It might not be holding any information. So let's check out an example and hopefully that will make a lot more sense. So for our example today, we will pretend that we have a game and to play this game, you have to make an account. Now for this account, you have to enter your name. We will have some constants because your name will never change. We've let first name of type string and we'll just make up some names. So this will be John. We need let middle name again of type string. John's middle name will be William and let last name again of type string is going to be Smith. John Smith. So awesome, John Smith has just signed up for our game. So what we could do is we could now create a string for his full name. So let full name is gonna be a string and we can use backwards slash brackets to kind of put this all together. So first name, space, middle name, last name. As you can see, full name is set to John William Smith. So just take them first name, middle name, and last name and put it together to make their full name. Now the problem comes with that not everyone has a middle name. So if they're filling out a form, they might have to leave it blank because if they haven't got a middle name, they can't put it in. So what we can do is when we set up middle name, rather than just being of type string, we will say that this is an optional string. So the question mark here is saying this will hold a string, but it can also hold nothing. So what we could do now for middle name is say nil, nothing. Middle name does not hold any information because John Smith might not have a middle name. Now, if we try to do this with something that isn't an optional, such as first name, we can't do it, okay? Because we're saying first name will definitely be a string, but there's nothing here. We can't do that. So it has to be a string. But as an optional string, we can indeed make it nil. But thankfully, John Smith does have a middle name, which was William. So great, we've set this up so they haven't got to enter a middle name. And now middle name can indeed be set to nil. So therefore, it just holds nothing. But unfortunately, it's not that easy. Because as you can see, our full name is now set to John Optional William Smith. So by turning middle name into an optional, when we try to use it, it's given us Optional William which if you're looking at your game and it says welcome back to John Optional William Smith, it's gonna look really bizarre. So what we have to do, if this is an optional, we have to get the information out of the optional to use it. So the way that we can do this is by unwrapping it. So when we use it, if we use an exclamation mark just here, it says take that optional, get the information out and use it. So now we're still getting William. Okay, so now middle name is an optional and we are pulling the information out of that optional. So we can use just William. Now that would work, but this is very, very, very risky. And we should only ever unwrap an optional this way if we are 100 million percent certain that there's always going to be a value set. So if middle name is guaranteed to have a value set to it and guaranteed not to be nil, this would work. However, let's check out a potential problem. So let's set up another user as another example. So we have let, and for the sake of this, we'll just say person two first name, okay? So just to kind of see how this all works. Again, of type string, and this is gonna be Steve. Steve does not have a middle name, so nil. And Steve's last name is gonna be Jones. Okay, so Steve Jones does not have a middle name. But let's try and get his full name anyway. So let person two full name, it's gonna be a string. And we could just do the same as we did above. So person two first name, 
person to middle name. And remember, we have to unwrap this, right? That's what we just learned. And person to last name, just like above. Uh oh, the errors are already starting to happen. So why are we getting this error? Well, down in the log, as you can see, is saying fatal error, unexpectedly found nil whilst unwrapping an optional value. So when we try to unwrap something, we're saying there's guaranteed to be a value there. So go to that variable or that constant and pull out the information because there would definitely be information there. But if there's not information there, if it's set to nil, it crashes because it can't get the information that we want it to go and get for us. So if there's the slightest chance that this won't have a value and it'll be set to nil, we can't just unwrap it because if it's set to nil and we unwrap it, our app or our game is going to crash. And that's a massive problem. And obviously we don't know if this will be nil or not because this depends on what the user would put into the form. So we don't know if there's going to be a value there or not. And making that even worse is that this error would occur whilst the app is running. Not whilst you're looking at your code, but whilst the user is using the app. We're getting the error now because the code is running in real time here in the playground. But in a real app, this wouldn't crash until the app that the user was currently using tried to run this code. So it would crash for the user whilst they're using it. And that is a big problem. So just unwrapping it is the vast, vast majority of the time very dangerous. So we don't want to do that. So how can we use this information without the risk of our app crashing? So we need a safer way of getting this information without just force unwrapping it. So we will look at two different ways that we can get the information out of this optional safely and without running the risk of crashing our app. And if it's nil, it won't just crash our app. The first way is that we can use an if statement where we can say if person two middle name are optional, what we can do is say if that doesn't equal nil. So if person two middle name isn't nothing, then we can unwrap it because if it doesn't equal nil, then there's something there. So we could then do, we just print it over on the right. So now we are unwrapping person to middle name, but we know that this code is only going to run if there's something there. So if we can safely unwrap it because person to middle name doesn't equal nil which means there would be something there. Now, as person to middle name does equal nil, this isn't going to run. So we are unwrapping it, but now if this would have caused it to crash with an if statement, we are simply avoiding it. Now with this, we can say else, which basically means if person to middle name does equal nil, what do we want to do? So if it does equal nil, we just want to overlook it like so. So now what we're saying is if person to middle name doesn't equal nothing, so if there's something there, if it has a value that we can go and get, then we can use it. We can go get that value and use it safely. But now what we're saying on top of that is that if this isn't true and therefore person to middle name is nothing, then we can do a different block of code that doesn't use it and therefore we're not unwrapping it. So that's one way that we can get this information safely we can do one thing if there's information there and something else if there isn't information there. So now we can unwrap it because we can be certain that there is information there. So that's the first way. And as you can see, we are running the else because person to middle name does indeed equal nil. But if Steve Jones did have a middle name, then person to middle name would not equal nothing. So now this one can run and we can safely unwrap it because there is information there. But without a middle name, we can't unwrap it, so let's just overlook it. So that's the first way. The second way that we will look at to get the value of an optional safely is with an if let statement. So we will set this up and then I'll explain what's happening. So we will say if and then straight away let. And we will say middle name equals person to middle name open curly drop a line. So what we're saying here is take person to middle name and go to it and try and get the information out. Try and get that value by unwrapping it. Note how in an if let, we do not use an exclamation mark to unwrap it. 
it would just unwrap it for us. Now, when it tries to unwrap it, if it can get a value from it, and therefore it isn't set to nil, for this block here, so this is scoped to this one block, take that value that you unwrapped from this and set that to middle name so that we can use it. Now, even though we have another constant somewhere else in our code called middle name, in this if let statement, anytime that we use middle name, we will be using this brand new one, which would hold the value of this optional. So within this if let, this new middle name is different to our other middle name. So just like above, we're gonna print out their full name, but this time we will use middle name. Because remember, if we can get a value from person to middle name, and therefore it is not set to nil, that value is being set to middle name. So by using middle name, it has the value that the optional was holding. So if you can get a value from person to middle name, take it, set it to middle name, which we have just declared, so we can use it. And by using middle name, we're now using the value that we've just unwrapped from person to middle name. So again, if Steve did have a middle name, so as this now has a value, we can safely unwrap it. And if we use middle name, we are taking that value and we are using it. Now, just like a normal if statement, we can also use an else. If we can't get a value from this and therefore it's set to nil, and therefore if we can't set a value to middle name, do this. So again, we'll just overlook his middle name. So if Steve again doesn't have a middle name, this time when this runs, we can't unwrap a value from this because it doesn't have a value. So therefore we can't set the value to middle name. Therefore we'll run the else. We're just overlooking the optional value because it's set to nil. So that is what an optional is, how we can use it and two different ways that we can get the information safely without running the risk of crashing our app. So that rounds up our look at optionals. As always, post any questions down in the comments and thank you very much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Goodbye.